Hello everyone, thank you for this invitation. My name is Cheyenne Anchieta. Now I am a postdoc in Unicamp here in Brazil. I was invited to present this article, which part of my thesis entitled Effect of Ionic Liquid in Nickel Zircon Catalysts Applied to Syngas Production by Methane Trihreform. This work uh, was done during my PhD, uh, was done in USP, University of Sao Paulo State, and also was done with Federal University of São Carlos. Uh, I am um, a researcher in, in catalysts area. I've been studying different systems, photocatalytic systems, heterogeneous systems, and also electrocatalysts. Now, in my postdoc, I am searching for new storage devices. And we are always uh, trying to find new alternatives to different energy and also to storage renewable energy. And I think that um, in this contest, these articles which aims uh, hydrogen production is an uh, interesting theme uh, considering this workshop. Talking a little about the motivation of these articles is all of us know that green gas, green gas house gases, uh, are a problem and we need to reduce CO2 uh, emissions and we need to find alternatives to uh, obtain valuable products aiming reduce these, these gases like CO2. The natural gas uh, is composed by at least 70% to 90% of methane and also has in their compositions CO2, at least uh, 8%, and uh, are also composed with uh, oxygen and little amounts of water. Looking to this, what we can do to use natural gas to produce other valuable products and also in the same way use the CO2 combining and combining these gases and to obtain new valuable products like hydrogen for example. Um, the reactions that I told you that is the scientific aim of this article is the trihaforming of methane. In the trihaforming of methane, we can reform in the same reformer three re re reactions. The first one is the steam reforming, the second one is the dry reforming, and the third one is the partial oxidation of methane. Combining the three reactions, we have the trihaforming reaction, aiming to produce a syn gas with molar ratio that we could change, changing the feed composition of this reaction. So this is the first question that we want to answer, is what the main objective is to produce another valuable product considering this greenhouse gases. And how we could do this type of thing? 
nickel catalysts are promising catalysts that are, have catalyst, catalytic activity compared to the noble metals. And uh, nickel catalyst needs to be improved to maybe act as a catalyst, efficient catalyst in high temperature reactions. I have some hypotheses to make these catalysts as a promising catalyst. The first um, topic here is the acidity in basic theory. This type of reaction needs active sites. And we want to investigate if changing the metal support and changing the interaction of nickel catalyst, we could change the basicity and acidity of this type of materials. Also, we want to improve the oxygen vacancies to get more and more active sites. Nickel catalysts uh, needs to be improved. improved. And uh, use uh, support materials that makes these cat catalysts more active are, great, are a great issue. And nickel catalysts are supposed to suffer some sinterization at high temperature. So we need to, to change the scenario looking for stable nickel catalysts. Now talking about triforming of methane, as I told you before, we have steam reforming, dry reforming, and partial oxidation. We have exothermic and endothermic reactions that are occurring in the same way. So it's a very complex system. And sometimes the water gas shift reactions also occur in these type of systems. When we're talking about triforming, we are supposed to have only uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen. However, due to the water gas shift, for, for example, we have CO2 being formed. And sometimes the conversion of CO2 need, needs to be looked carefully because we are at the same way that you are cons consuming CO2, we are also producing. Parallel reaction also occurs that one of them is the Bordeaux reaction. So uh, in this case of parallel reactions could occur the CO decomposition in which also is formed CO2 and the methane decomposition, which lets a coke deposition over this type of catalyst. Talking about nickel catalyst, what have done what we have done here? Synthesize zirconia catalyst with different crystalline phase. And how we could do this thing? Um, ionic liquid called uh, imidazolium salts. And this type of ionic liquid are considered ionic crystalline liquids in which they have, uh, they are supposed to organize themselves in my cells and form different structure phase like nematic, somatic, and hexagonal and columnar structures. And these different structures led to different particle shapes and size and also change the morphological properties of these materials, changing the rugosity of these catalysts. And here, now I'm going to show you the results of this article. Initially, we have done 
XRD diffra X-ray diffraction of the, the synthesized zirconia supports. We use it ion ionic liquid with different concentrations to obtain different crystalline phases. After, so we have to do some thermal treatment to obtain the support and after uh, impregnating nickel particles over the support, we need to calcinate again the catalysts. So what we have seen by X-ray diffraction is that we have different phase composition related to the support synthesizes with or without ionic liquid. When we are talking about the zirconia without ionic liquid, we have 24% of tetragonal phase. When we are talking about the zirconia synthesized using ionic liquid, we have 66% of tetragonal phase, which lends a different property, physical chemical properties of these, mar these materials. Also, we have different basic acid ratio, which could lead different uh, catalytic results. When also after adding uh, nickel over the surface, the acidity and basic acid ratio changes, and also this this was supposed to cure because when we add nickel in the support, uh, some pores are blocked. As we can see here in the nitrogen physics sortion, in which shows that after adding nickel over this, this support and after the catalyst being calcinated at 900 Celsius degrees, we have a reduction in the surface area and a, a porous blo blockage. Here, in the transmission microscopy, we can see that we have some particles that aggregate themselves in picture on the right here in A is the zirconia without ionic liquid in the support and in B we can see that we have a lot of small particles that are connected each other after the, the synthesis with ionic liquid. Then uh, here in the scanning electron microscopy, we can see that after adding the, the Nickel, we have particles with different uh, morphologies and with different characteristics when we compare each other. Now here we can see the 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 nickel the zirconia catalysts before and after the calcination and we can see that we have we lost the, the ionic liquid which means that we have only the catalytic activity of nickel zirconia material. Uh, another characterization that we have done with these materials is the temperature program reduction profiles um, that was done using hydrogen and we can see that after the nickel catalysts that are supported over zirconia synthesized using ionic liquids, we can see that we'll have a shift in to higher temperature in the um, TPR profiles, which means that we have improved the 
metal support interaction when we use it and it gives zirconia catalysts by, made by ionic liquid fruit. Here, when we are comparing the reduction profile by using in situ X-ray diffraction, we can see that we have different, and we also could estimate it, the average crystallite size using these results. And we can see that we have different profiles when we're talking about nickel zirconia with and without ionic liquid. The figure on the left on the top is are the catalysts without ionic liquid in the support system synthesis and in figure on the bottom are the catalysts with synthesized using ionic liquid and we can see that we have difference in between each other uh, related to the temperature in which the reduction starts as we could saw in the TPR profiles too. Then when we compare the crystallized size uh, estimated by the figure by figure six uh, by the X-ray the fractions, we saw that the nickel zirconia catalysts with higher metal interaction uh, form nickel with the smaller particle size. Also, we could see influences in the basicity and acidity of these materials. Uh, looking to CO2 TPD profiles, we can see that we have a uh, higher basicity when we're talking about the, the support without ionic liquid. And also after the nickel impregnation, we could see that we also have the lowest basicity for the nickel without with higher metal support interaction and here in figure 8 in the monium TPD profiles we can see that we have a more acid catalysts uh, for the ones that are supported in the zirconia without ionic liquid. So using ionic liquid in the zirconia synthesis we change the acid basic properties of these materials and also change the metal support interaction of the catalysts. Now looking to the reaction results, here we can see that we have a temperature effect, effect as we have um, exothermic and endothermic reactions in the system, we know that improving the temperature, we improve the methane and the CO2 conversion. Also, we saw that we have a reduction in the molar rate too, considering both systems with and without ionic liquid in the support when we change the temperature of reactions. Here we use stoichiometric conditions of the trihaforming reactions. Uh, and in the figure 10, we can see that the nickel catalyst with higher metal support interaction with and with the lowest particle size have a, a higher concentration higher conversion of CO2 and we have the highest molar rate too. This is because of hydrogen and CO. This occurs differences in the molar rate to do with the different properties of these materials. We have different crystalline phases we have different metal interaction. Also, we have different 
acid bases properties and for this reason we could improve the CO2 conversion. So when we were talking about the systems of uh, trihe farming reaction, it's very difficult to understand completely the system because we need the same active site to convert steam and to convert the CO2. So uh, what the, the conclusions of this work was, first of all, ionic liquid could modify morphology and also acid-base characteristics of the zirconia support. So it's an interesting technology to modify zirconia supports. Also, we, we could see that we could make these different materials with a single step production and obtain low cost catalysts, which is very interesting because we need to, to find alternatives to novel methods considering this type of reaction. Also, we have a catalytic activity and stability of this type of materials and which are directly influenced, influenced by the chemical physical properties. Nickel particle size has an important role in the catalytic conversion of methane. And um, the most important characteristic of this type of catalysts are related to the nickel particle size. We, as lower as the nickel particle size, uh, higher will be the conversion of methane and CO2. Also, when we change the CO2 feed, uh, CO2 and steam feed, we could change the molar ratio of the syngas. So, uh, changing the properties we could of metal support interaction, we could see which are the most promising catalysts. And if we want to change the molar ratio, we could change the feed to obtain more uh, syngas like uh, with the ratio that needs for Fischer traps, for, for example reactions. Also, in this type of catalyst, we couldn't see uh, carbon deposition over the surface of these materials. This is to the higher metal support interaction and also um, due to the, the balance of basic and acid active sites. When we're talking about nickel zirconia catalysts, we are saying that are a promising catalyst for syngas production and also for the tri farming of methane. So this was a little about uh, what is in this paper. If you want more information of, or if you are interested, interested in our results, a detailed uh, results are discussed in this manuscript also i want to thank everyone for this invitation i'm very glad to be here and to share knowledge with all of you thank you very much uh, if you have questions 